Hey guys, Jason Cardamone here, and this is the Empower Network case study video number three. And for those in the U United States, happy Thanksgiving. So I have I've not got a ton done. I have not got a lot done in the last 24 hours as far as Empower Network goes because I've been helping my I've basically been my wife's slave for the last 24 hours getting ready for Thanksgiving, getting the house ready. We're, we're about to have like 25 people show up in the next hour or two. So what I have done is continue to refine um, my process of getting videos down, getting, you know, working with transcription is getting them up onto my blog in a nice manner. And what, what's cool is I got, so the second video, number two, I uploaded to YouTube. Before I went to bed last night, I posted a job to one of my transcriptionists, and it was done, You know, I think within a few hours. I, I got up this morning, the email had been sitting in my inbox for a while, and I will be putting that onto my blog here right after I shoot this video while this video is uploading. So I'm doing multiple things at the same time. So I'll shoot this video, I'll go get it uploading to YouTube, and during that, which takes a while, it even takes my, these videos, like the 20 minute ones, they take like 20 or 30 minutes for my computer to even process to get into a file format that I can upload to YouTube because I shoot really high quality video. So, um, and then uploading it to YouTube takes another 30 or 60 minutes. So during all that downtime while my computer's crunching numbers or while it's uploading to YouTube, I can obviously be copying and pasting and getting things up on the blog. Um, one cool thing, so I, we talked yesterday about me making $150 the previous 20 hours and they, I, I had posted something around, you know, where I was at. David Wood made a post last night on his blog. I just randomly saw it in my email. I never look at those things. So I happened to go there because it talked about have you ever felt magical? And I was like, I feel magical right now with what's happening, kind of, I explained in yesterday's video. And so, I kind of explained how, you know, a year ago I joined, then I kind of sat around after the payment processors broke, and then I just within the last five or six days been plugging in more six days now. And David Wood made a comment back, and I, I just, I, I don't remember everything that was said besides I had made $150 in the last 20 hours. And he said, focus on making $150 every 20 hours. And the, the more you focus on that, the more you can visualize it and it happens again and again, the, the faster you'll do it again. And, and the faster you do that, you're, the more your income will increase. Or the more often you do that, the more often your income will increase. I don't remember, it's something along those lines. So I, you know, being the analytical Jason comes out and I start punching numbers in a calculator. And if I were to create an additional $150 every 20 hours, which really doesn't seem like a lot to me at this point, that is equivalent of over $5,000 per month. So now I'm sitting here looking at those numbers, I'm like, wow, that's above the average household income in the United States. You know, one of the most wealthy countries in the world. So that's not only really exciting to me, but it's, it's super believable. In fact, it's not just believable, I know I can do a lot more than that, which that's what starts to get me excited is, you know, 10,000 a month and beyond, five figures a month and beyond, adding that to my current income, that's when I start to get excited and start to get enrolled and, and really just start to get the momentum flowing together. So that is, that's where I'm at with Empower. Um, I've actually listened to I actually listened to one of my old audios. It's called Seven Secrets to Seven Figures by a guy named Matt Morris who had made um, six million dollars by the time he was 30 years old. And it was one of my favorite recordings that I started listening to. Jeez, I think it was back in 2000, either 2007 or 2008, I believe. The first year I hung Christmas lights on my house it, I just got this CD and I listened to it for several times in a row, like three, I think that first year was only like three or four hours to hang the lights. And I listened to it three or four times in a row. 
and and since then I've listened to it probably a hundred times more but I listened to that last night sitting in bed instead of watching TV or playing iPad or anything like that um, and I'm gonna listen to that again when I go to do lights right after this video is done when I'm done posting my blog for the day from yesterday so I that that's everything around Empower Network what I've been doing what's happened things like that I, I will add in that I am, you know, today being Thanksgiving, I am extremely thankful for all of the blessings in my life and I hope you can find the blessings in your life that you're thankful for. I'm particularly thankful for the health of my family, the, you know, the amazing home we get to live in, the life we get to live, that I, you know, in 2010 and 2011, I didn't work for nine months those two years. I mean, I didn't get two or four weeks off each year. I got an average of four and a half months off each of those years. Um, I, I actually never sat back to look at what I've done here in 2012, but it was, it was at least two months off or more. Um, I'm grateful for the life I've got to live. I'm grateful for all the times when I feel like my life was falling apart back when I was starting in this industry or back when my first company went under and I lost 80% of my income overnight. Um, I'm thankful for all the good and the bad lessons and everything that's happened to me, not just the last six and a half years in this industry, but throughout my entire life. All the amazing and beautiful things that have happened, even if at the time they felt like it was the worst day of my life. I'm grateful for those too because they've helped me become the person I am today. So I'm very grateful you've taken the time to watch this video or maybe you just skip to the end and you just jumped in right now. But I hope you're able to find gratitude because one thing I've learned is that people who are highly successful are grateful. And the only people who are ever happy, it's not the people who have $10 million sitting in their bank account. It's the ones who have any amount sitting in their bank account, whether that's negative 10 million or positive 10 million, but the ones that are grateful, those are the people that are truly happy in life. So one of the keys to being wealthy, successful, or having any, attracting any kind of abundance into your life is first having an attitude of gratitude. So I hope you can find, maybe you can find one thing that you usually don't notice that you're grateful for. So that's it for today, guys. Have an amazing Thanksgiving if you're here in the US or, or maybe you'll get this video tomorrow. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving and I look forward to talking to you guys in a, in a video coming to a YouTube or a Jason vlog or somewhere else very soon. To your ultimate success, God bless and happy Thanksgiving everybody.